Hello and welcome back to Sewellson Shooting Centre where again we're talking about target shooting. This week we're talking about full bore target rifle and here I am in one of the 100 metre ranges. Now 100 metre range doesn't sound like a long distance for tar full bore target and it's not. Most time they shoot distances between 6, 800, 1200 metres. But all rifles are zeroed at 100 metres which means you set the scope where you want the bullet to go then you up and adjust up and down the scope for different distances. So 100 metres is actually a very good distance to shoot on. What we're going to do today is we're going to shoot a 308 uh, full bore rifle uh, at a target 100 metres away and hopefully I'll hit it uh, and also we'll go through details of zeroing rifles as well a bit later on. But here it should be quite good fun, long distance, but here the good benefit of Silverson Shooting Centre is that all of our cameras, all of our targets have cameras on. So you haven't to keep walking back and forth and seeing where your shot's gone. So hopefully when we start shooting we can immediately see where we're going and adjust accordingly. We'll get on with it now, okay? Right, so here we are on one of our 100 metre shooting bays. Uh, as you can see, I'm sitting down, which is primarily the normal way you shoot 100 metres and beyond in terms of full bore rifle. Um, we're blessed here in terms of all our bays suitable for left and right handed shooters. I shoot both. Um, but also the main thing about we have here is our wonderful TV system. So what we have is all of our targets down there, all of our own high definition camera, and then there's a high definition TV up here. So it means when I pull the trigger here, in theory we should see exactly where it hits in terms of target. Traditionally, most shooting ranges have spotting scopes, a separate set of scopes to look, but here we're quite fortunate this TV system we put in place, which is the only one in Europe. Uh, all hard cabled, so there's four and a half miles of Cat5 cable we pulled in this place, so another week I wish to replay, repeat. Um, I've got here now a 308 uh, Remington action on an AB arm stock. This isn't a traditional target rifle, but it is a traditional target rifle caliber in 308. So, we tend to shoot these here because they're a bit more multi-purpose, but there's all different kinds of classes of rifle for full bore. Um, but they tend to use a larger calibers, 308, 6.5, etc. Um, I'll keep quoting numbers at you. There are hundreds of calibers of, of, of bullet out there. So uh, as you start to get into more shooting, you'll realize how many there are. Um, but this is the gun. <coughs> um, again, it's a magazine fed bolt action um, with a 10 power scope. And also you'll notice it's been fitted with a moderator. Now, um, this is a Wildcat moderator. We recommend these because they really do make the biggest difference in terms of noise. Um, here at Silverson Shooting Center, all of our full bore rifles must be moderated. Now, a moderator is what the Americans call a suppressor and what Hollywood calls a silencer. Okay, they don't silence anything, just make it slightly quieter. But a difference in this rifle between having a Wildcat moderator and not having a moderator at all is about 100 decibels, which is quite a lot of a difference. So we shoot everything moderated. It also helps accuracy in most rifles as well. So, shooting off a bipod, what I'll do now is I'll load up and I'll put three rounds in to target and we'll see where we go from there. First of all, of course, as all safety aspects of it, eyes and ears on, first of all. And I'll load up. Let's see how we do. Well, as we can see, um, not brilliant, but they should all be in the centre. I've pulled the first one over, and these two are reasonably okay. Annoyingly, in the practice shoot, they're all three in the middle, but there you go. Um, <clears throat> generally, the rifle's nice and, uh, nice and zeroed, so we can't complain about that. Um, one issue downside about moderators is that they do generate heat on the barrel. So even after three rounds, that's quite hot to touch. Um, so what you don't have is heat haze. That comes off it. It's a downside of moderator, sadly, but it does make a big difference in terms of anything else you can do. And obviously, the noise wise makes a huge difference. So, beauty system shooting here is great fun. 
Obviously, perspective of full bore shooting, etc., much longer distances. So you can imagine we're running a scope with three or four times the magnification there, and you'd be shooting at targets which you could barely see with your human eye. Hence, you've got big magnification scopes. But you're still zero at 100 meters from here. So this would be good enough for me to go out and shoot 600, 800, or 1200 meters to competition. Um, not exactly the largest aspect of target rifle uh, to target uh, shooting sports, uh, because the guns tend to be quite expensive. Um, this particular rig is around about a thousand pounds. The scopes tend to be expensive as well. Again, one, two thousand pounds. And these bullets each here are around about sort of 80, 90 p each. <coughs> Not the cheapest bullet in the world to shoot, and you shoot a lot of them. Um, so it is something that's a bit more, a bit more fine-tuned, should we say. But in terms of overall experience out of it, this is probably the purest form of target rifle shooting. Longer distances. And you can have a thing called a gong competition where you shoot a big metal plate and you can literally shoot something that's 1200 meters away and it's flight time in the air, it's one or two seconds, and then you'll hear the gong go off as hit the bullet round hits it, uh, which is quite satisfying when you can barely even see a target at all. So again, very different kind of shooting, completely different to galley rifle, completely different to practical shooting, but still involving shooting at targets. So still remarkably um, uh, popular sport. Um, a lot of people who shoot full bore target rifle find it very therapeutic. You really can't think of anything else when you're shooting there, concentrating purely on your breathing, on your muscle, how you're hold, holding your muscles in place in terms of the rifle itself. So, um, no, just haven't gone about how to hold a rifle, we'll cover that later on, uh, but in all fact of life, there's no right or wrong way to hold a gun, so that's most comfortable for you. But there are tricks you can pick up as well, which cover up. But that's it for today, hopefully you enjoyed that part of the shooting. Uh, do check out the bloopers, because I'm pretty sure we got a lot wrong this time, uh, it's worth watching. Um, and then the next time around, we'll try and look at something a bit more dynamic than shooting, but thanks for watching. Cheers. So what we're going to do today is shoot 100 meters with a 308 rifle um, <clears throat> and see where we get on from there. But hopefully it should be a nice good idea in terms of shooting. This is all I clear my throat too many times. <laughs> well, you can't argue with the grouping. <laughs> <laughs>